Hey, everybody. This is Tim Hart, branch manager of Van Dyke Mortgage. Thanks for being with us today. I'm right here in Fort Myers, Florida. We are a mortgage lender. And today I got with us to talk about a new loan program we have. This is Jerry Sanchez from Go Point Direct. Jerry, how are you doing, sir? Doing great, Tim. How's everything with you? Doing good, doing good. You know, we're, we're filming this, what, uh, early May uh, 2022. And, um, you know, do we have a little bit of a slowdown happening in our market? Maybe. You know, we're kind of seeing that. What are you seeing out there? Off topic, but what are you seeing out there? I'm seeing the same as you are, Tim. It is kind of slowed down. I think people are trying to readjust to the new reality, um, actually the new normal, most likely. Federal government's been talking about raising the rates. They finally are um, biting the bullet and, and, and doing it. And this is basically, uh, again, like I said, the new reality. Uh, again, when I first bought my house, it was twice the rates that they are today. So I was right, at 10%. Right. So I'm, you know, I don't think, on my opinion, I don't think it's so bad, but I think a lot of folks think it is and it's not true. This is really the new normal. I think yeah, got a little thing. spoiled the last couple of years, didn't we, with those rates? But um, hey, anyhow, uh, Jerry brought you on today. And I wanted to bring on, talk about a certain loan program. And I kind of want to tee it up for the people that are watching. A lot of people watch us, we're in Florida. Uh, a lot of realtors will um, tune into this one. And so what we see a lot is you'll have a lot of, um, especially in Florida, a lot of people that have a good amount of money, you know, a million, two million, three million. They ha they're a higher net worth borrower, but they don't have that monthly income, you know. And so we see this a lot down here to where, you know, back in the day, you know, pre-mortgage meltdown, hey, if you had a good enough credit score and you had enough money to put down, you're getting a loan no matter what. And normal, conventional, FHA, all these different guidelines all tightened up. You got to have your credit, your income, your credit score, and your down payment. And so what we're going to talk about today is that borrower that has a good credit score and they have a high net worth, but they don't have any income they're generating from any of these investments. They're just withdrawing money. So does that kind of tee it up for you? Like the borrower that were with the asset depletion loan, is that, does that kind of tee it up for you? Correct. Actually, it's two different underwriting methods. One is asset depletion, and the other method is asset utilization. Okay. Mind you, this is in the non-QM realm that, that we're able to use, but I think these are huge advantages, especially on your side of the coast, uh, Tim. There's a lot of retirees and people coming down. They have a lot. They have a lot of assets. May not have the monthly income, but have the assets. This is perfect for them. Retirees, okay. people of, of that. And the first one, and, and it's just a matter of how much assets do they have and then depending which program would fit them best. Asset depletion is, base, is that, it's, it's basically taking their, their, their assets, but this program's gonna re require one and a half times um, basically the loan amount, for example. And, and then on top of that, you gotta include the closing costs, down payment and prepaids needed for the transaction. So let's say, for example, we have a million dollar loan or a million dollar assets. Okay. Well, that's really transpires into, sounds like a $600,000 loan. We need one and a half times, nine, 900,000 plus your closing costs, uh, prepaids, down payment. So in other words, that's gotta be included in, in, the, in the equation. So a person who has a million dollars could get a $600,000 uh, loan, not having a monthly income, and then what we do is we take a percentage of what their assets, if, if their assets is checking and savings and money markets, those are 100%. If uh, they have uh, stocks and bonds, that's 75% of those values. If they are retirement assets and they are under the age of 59 and a half, then it'll be at 70%. Okay. But if they're at past 59 and a half, then it's at 80% that can be used. All right, personal funds in borrowers' names only, business funds, joint accounts with individuals not on the loan are not eligible, okay? So basically these are highly liquid individuals, but, um, and then they come up with a monthly income on this. And what they do is take the, the net qualified assets. So after doing all those percentages, taking out all the down payment and, and, and it, it comes down to uh, taking that amount, dividing it by 84 months, Okay. And that's how we consider the monthly income with asset depletion. And I'll be happy to, you know, give you a snapshot I got uh, of that um, to you. 
so you can uh, share that with your loan officers. Sure. Yeah. And everything. And then, um, so, and that one probably requires more money because it's one and a half times. That's where asset utilization now comes in. Maybe they don't have as that much. So now you go into the other one. Oh, before I, I go, asset depletion, one thing about that is you are not allowed to do a cash out or debt consolidation with that type of loan. It's primary residence only and gift funds are not permitted. So obviously- This, this is purchase and rate and term refi, right? Correct. Okay. That's, that's it under asset depletion. Under asset use, utilization, you can do both primary and second home. Gift funds are not permitted as, as well. Both programs would be treated in an alt doc credit and pricing standpoint, just so you, you guys understand. Now, the difference with this is they would need to have at least 100% of the loan amount in assets, but they're going to take 60 months of the revolving installment, alimony, child support, mortgage related expenses, reserves. They're going to they're going to they're going to take a, a, and want 60 months in reserves on top of loan amount. So just so you understand, that's a difference. It might be less than having to do asset depletion at one and a half times, but please understand, and a lot of times folks all of a sudden, oh, well wait a minute, what about if I pay it down like for less than 10 months? No. They're going to go off of the credit report, whatever's there is there. So this is a type of loan that if you are planning to use asset utilization, it might be uh, prudent on the borrower to, you know, advise your borrower. Let's take, you know, take the time to look at his credit situation, maybe plan for the future because he may have things that are close to being paid off or whatever. And you need to have that all completed and done prior to taking the loan application or appearing on the credit report. So, so, it's, so make sure I understand that. So that they have to have for that asset utilization. They have to have five years worth of reserves. Of, of the revolving installment payment. So whatever's on, on your credit report. Right. They're gonna want 60 months of reserves. Like car loan. loans, the mortgage, uh, Correct. You know, credit card, student loans. Correct, and you can't pay it down either. So in other words, oh, we only got nine. No, they're gonna take it all into, into account. Okay. So there's no paying off or because they're just taking a snapshot of your lifestyle and that's what they're, okay, this is how you are. This is standard. So this is one that, you know, you might want to, again, depending on your client's needs, you have. Now, it, what would we explain to me why we would do asset utilization over asset depletion again? This loan will, one will allow you to get a second home. You oh, are vacation home, vacation home. You're in a big vacation home market. Right. This is excellent. Uh, for that, this program will allow you to do, cash out you could not do that under um okay asset depletion so it's 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 along along those lines and then obviously you got to take into account too you also got to do the five-year calculation for any reo properties that one has on their 1003 if they have a positive cash flow you're good and and everything else but if they have a negative cash flow then we're going to have to have five-year reserve so you know Got to take the good with the bad, but again, it would not require as much assets as the one and a half times as asset depletion, depending yeah. on how their credit usage gotcha. was in the credit report. <clears throat> okay. And, 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 and again, the same things follow on, on qualified assets with this program that I, I mentioned uh, with asset depletion in regards to checking and savings or time and assets, all the same percentages are, are the same. The only what's ineligible are gift funds, business funds, non-liquid assets like automobiles, artwork, um, annuities of any type or face value of life insurance policy or foreign assets could not be used. So they're looking for people in U.S., you know, U.S. funds in this country, um, you know, and, and they got, you know, five months of uh you know, you got to include the five months of reserves for for those installment, but it could be less than one and a half. Five time. years, I mean, five years. Yeah. Five years, sixty months. <clears throat> gotcha. So, yeah. good. And just so you know, on this one, you wouldn't put. It's not required to disclose on the ten hundred three um, any employment information. You would basically put in the employment not applicable to this loan. So this is another. That'd be on both loans, probably. Yeah. Gotcha. 
So, and, and I, I'm sure there's uh, a, a lot of agents or you know, realtors out there that will be watching this that had maybe swimming a little bit from like the back and forth thing there with, you know, our gu- the guidelines and the depletions and reserves and all that stuff. And I just want them to really understand that if you have a borrower that's a high net worth, right, high, high net worth borrower and they're lacking monthly income, this is a resource for it, you know. So, you know, we're just giving you the nuggets on the on the deal here. But you know, I always want them to remember that they can just prefer the buyer to us and let us run with it, right? For the for that buyer. Well, that's correct. That's really why that's why it's important for your realtors to partner with you and your team for that very reason. Because right here is a, ph- a phenomenal uh, underwriting method that I think most people in the, in the marketplace do not even know that it exists. Mm-hmm. And it does, but, you know, and hopefully um, you can share that. And by the way, this program also does not require a 4506. For, gotcha. uh, so, you know, a lot of people care about that too. <laughs> well, and for, if you're watching this, you don't know what a 4506 is, that's how you verify tax returns. So we, the lender uses that to verify tax returns. When you get them, 4506 goes to the IRS. The IRS sends us back your t- tax transcripts, and we make sure those match the tax returns that are given to us. So that is important. You know, these self-employed borrowers and high net worth borrowers, sometimes y'all have some tricky income out there, and you may not want to mess around with it. You know, you may not want a lender digging into it. Let's be honest. Right? Correct. <laughs> and I think that's a huge advantage because – Believe it or not, there are many lenders that have overlays uh, or, or may require that. We do not. I think that's a huge advantage in our marketplace. But again, for the high asset borrowers that are maybe in tr- 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 transition of jobs or change of lifestyle, you know, yep. life experience or stages of life. I mean, if they're heavy on the assets, this is the way to go. Well, you know, I, I've known uh, plenty of borrowers that have come across our desk with um, you know, they're in their 40s and 50s, and they just been living off of savings and out of the workforce for several years, just kind of hanging out, like doing their thing. You know, maybe they're going to jump back in the workforce, maybe not, but they may or may not even need to, you know. And so, so that's th- this program right here, just it's just another I always look at these as being like another arrow in your quiver. Right. If you're a realtor out there, um, that this is just something else for you to think about, talk about, keep in the back of your mind. That if one of these, excuse me, if one of these buyers come through, well, hey, here you go. You got a product for them. You know, you something out there that we can help them with. Correct. And the beauty of this also, as you know, speed is the game, right? And now you don't have to verify any employment. There's nothing. They've already got their their statements. I mean, honestly, all we're waiting for is an appraisal, basically. Appraisal, on, yeah. on so this is really quick. Yep. Cool. 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 Well, Jerry, you got anything else you want to add to it? No, I just, uh, you know, I, uh, if there's anything I can do, if any of your, your team needs, you know, a little more deeper details, feel free to, to reach out to me. But uh, Tim, they should all be reaching out to you because you're the expert and they'll know what, which hole fits best for, for, your, for that client. So hopefully these realtors are utilizing you in that fashion. Well, I appreciate you saying that. And uh, also out there, you guys, just so you know, one thing we do special besides this loan is... When you send us a borrower, we will have, because we understand that uh, getting a contract accepted is one of the hardest things out there for y'all right now in this market. And so we do a couple things to help this out. One is we try to underwrite every borrower we have that we pre-approve before they're under, uh, under contract for a property. So while they're out looking, we have them underwritten as well. When you make an offer on that property, we will contact the listing agent and we will tell them how great you are, how great the borrower is, how great we are it'll help you get that offer accepted. So that's another service that we provide to y'all out there. I hope this video helps uh, you. If you have any questions on this loan product, reach out to us anytime. Call my office. I got an entire team, loan officers all ready to go. 239-437-4278. And we put out content like this a lot. So make sure you subscribe to the YouTube channel or Facebook page, or you know, it's available on audio podcasts. If you're listening to it there, make sure you subscribe. Uh, we appreciate it. Thank you very much for watching. Jerry, thank you, sir, for being with us. Appreciate it, man. Thank you for inviting me. Appreciate it. You got it, man. Our pleasure. Everyone, have a great day. See you later.